Alrighty, I got my grass cut, so I think I'm going to turn my attention to this banjo. I got the neck mounted on here real nice. This neck doesn't really fit this banjo. It looks real nice on there, but it wasn't made for this banjo. And you can see, if you look right down here, there's a crack. Oh, about an eighth of an inch between the neck and the base of the banjo. Uh, and there's two ways to fix that. One is to cut this piece of the fretboard right here, but this looks real nice. It's got this little nice white ring around it, and if I cut that, it's going to look all raggedy, and it's going to get into that fret. So I think rather than do that, I'd rather fill this part. So what I may do is grab me a, find me a piece of wood uh, that I can slip up in there. I'm thinking right away about some, I have some ebony fretboard pieces that might, could be ground on a little bit and fit right in there. Of course, I'll notch it out for the stick. I'm also going to grind the stick down where I've marked on it and uh, probably put some stain on it so it will match. And then put the original hardware back on here. This neck will wiggle around a little bit. You can hear it more than you can see it. And that's basically that stick moving up and down. So I think I'll, uh, what I'll probably do is pop this neck off and find me a piece of wood that's about that big, notch it out for the stick, put it on there and cut it and then put it back on. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Alright then, so I went out to look in my box full of stuff and I found this. This is a piece of walnut and you can see it's got a picture of a headstock, which is, that's a headstock right there on it. It's something that I drew out one time. I was going to cut it out and put it on some banjo that I was working on, but I never did. But it's just the right size. Look at that. It's just the right size to fit in there. So I think what I can do is take this neck off, cut me a square hole in that, slip it over the hole, put it up in there, mark around the edges, and then cut it and then slide it into place and glue it on that neck. And I think that's going to give me just about the right amount of wood and that dark my hot, that dark walnut's not going to look bad on there, not at all. So that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll take that neck off and we'll use that. Before I take that neck off, I'll probably get those other, uh, that other hardware that holds this neck on and just compare it here, see if I need to maybe thin this down a little bit so it'll fit on there because I'm going to use it on there too. And while I got it off, I'm going to stain this neck so that it's about the same color. And then we put it all back, it should look all honking. And then I'll string it up. Well, I went out and got this bracket off that other banjo, and I don't have to do anything to make it fit. It's going to fit on there just perfectly. That basically will go right here. I'll drill a hole, put this screw in there to hold it on, and then when I tighten these two screws, they just basically push against the back of the pot. That stabilizes this part right here so it won't jiggle up and down because there's a little tiny bit of play right here. And uh, plus it returns it to its original type setup, so that's pretty cool. So basically all i got to do with this part of the stick is just sand it and stain it. Sand these pencil marks off it. Oh, the joy. Alrighty, I've decided to spare y'all the, uh, oh, I don't know, pain, joy, whatever, of watching me cut this out and shape it. But I've got a little piece shape that just fits my heel. It's just a hair bigger. Which is what I want because I'm going to take a real fine tipped ink pen and mark that and with a grinder I'm going to grind that down so it fits perfect and then I'm going to probably glue that right on there and then put that neck back on. Okay, I'll make a picture of this after it's cut and shaped and placed. Oh, the joy. And now I'm going to put it back on the neck and then we'll uh, put that uh, other piece of hardware on there. You know, I'm really tempted to also put a coat of varnish on this, but I know it would take it a while to dry if I did. Or oh, wouldn't it look good? You know what I might can do instead? Is just spray it with some lacquer hairspray if I have any. I used to keep some around for this kind of thing. That works okay too. Okay, I think my stick mount, my dowel stick is just about perfectly mounted there. Oh, it looks real good. So the next thing to do is to string it and hope I got the neck alignment right, and if not, we'll have to figure that out. But uh, I gotta put the pegs on it first, so I'll get me some tuning pegs and put on it, and then we'll string that baby, and then we'll uh, go from there. 